Hi, it's Lynn from Lynny C Designs and today I'm just going to jump straight in and show you a quick and easy card using the wonderful, fabulous Flamingo um, stamp set. I'm using one of the images from Timeless Textures and unusual for me, I'm going to use quite a lot of um, ink pads. The fabulous Flamingo uses various, um, is, a, is a stepped, two-step or three-step stamp set. So I'm using Flirty Flamingo and Powder Pink for the bird. And then I, I'm going to actually outline the bird with Memento Black. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry this is a little bit later than normal because uh, I would normally um, have started, um, would normally have posted this um, this morning but I'm a little behind schedule so um, I have got a standard A6 um, card in Whisper White and I'm actually going to stamp a scene on a matting layer which is just half a centimetre shorter on both the, the length and the width. So let me just start with that. Um, I'm going to try and not get my face or my hair in camera so apologies if I do. This is the first image, um, and it's just lovely, I love the flamingo, so that is that, I've got my stamping scrub off to the side, so I'll try and tidy up as I go along. The next image is the solid image, and this is where I will try and not get my head in view um, I may actually get it in view just because I want to get it right now to do it I line up the beak and the you can see the body with these photopolymer stamps um, it really helps you line these up but actually on this one I don't think it's that bad um, it gives it a sort of watercolour effect and then I'm going to use the black. If you see, I've already mounted all of my images on the various blocks to try and save time. Um, now I'll try and get that where I want it to be. I'm not sure how good that'll be, but you'll see. Actually, it doesn't really matter because it just adds to the effect of it. I like to put the legs in in black as well so and I'm using memento black ink uh, you could use the um, stamping up archival as well there we go I just just love that image I do I've got a thing for flamingo so that's the last we'll need of those and I'm just tidying up as I go along because I have been known to um, dip my ink in the wrong colour. So for the water I'm using Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to stamp across and then re-ink several times just to create a water effect. And that, perfect. Just for luck, I'm going to do one more. Put that away. The reeds, I've mounted two images on here. The reeds and the um, palm leaf. Oops, makes me think of. Um, now, do I want that now? No, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in crumb cake. I'm just going to create a little bit of um, a sandbank with this timeless texture stamp set. And I just love the way how, and how easy it is to actually build this up. See, I'm not inking it every time. Fantastic. That's 
that. Now we go for the reeds. Just going to build that on the bank. And you just want to try get a few lighter ones to create a bit of depth. That's great. Happy with that. Now, normally I try and limit my inks to four or five, but I just felt that this was a seam that needed a little bit more. So let me take that off and come in with the so vibrant this new lemon lime twist. I just I'm going to bring those off the edge. Fantastic. I think that's I'm happy with that. And we can simply try to step out of my comfort zone and use different glues. I think I've managed to completely cover that up. Oh yes, that's not back at that one. Oh, there we go. A little bit of fast fuse. Oops, get that out of the way. And stick that down. And there you have a very simple one layer card. Um, I'm not going to put a sentiment on yet because I don't know what um, reason I'm going to use the card but it does have some lovely sentiments in this set tickled pink for you i love you kind of a lot congratulations that was awesome and then thanks so that's the very basic card and um to match in i've done a little envelope just with uh, a few of the palm leaves and then I, just as an example, I'll show you how I've stepped up the project. So this is the next one. Um, I have put it on a base of crumb cake to um, match the sand and I've cut down the panel and layered behind it um, a, two, two little um, strips of flirty flamingo um, just to bring that in. And I've added a few of the... Um, sequins the iridescent sequins from this uh, this set they're absolutely gorgeous um, let me try and open that up without spilling it everywhere um, they are iridescent they're all different colors and i just think it just it just did something it suited this card and then for um, a more stepped up look i have um, actually embossed used the same but rather than stamping tone on tone i've embossed the card and I've used this lovely new um, um, dynamic textured embossing um, folder which is absolutely lovely it is called uh, oh I'll put the, the, the name in the description so that's really lovely and I've also added some of the flirty flamingo baker's twine just to add a little bit of difference um, in, and interest so there we are at three quite um, similar um, cards but shows you how to, it's quite easy just to step them up. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching and see you again soon.